Hello everyone, welcome to the preparation series of Gate Computer Science, UGC Net Computer Science and Bank IT Officer Exam which is brought to you by Easy Engineering Classes. So in today's lecture, we'll solve two questions from Gate 2015 paper and the, these questions, one of them is based on a C program and pointers concept and the other one is based on minimum spanning tree. So starting with this questions, the first question says, consider the following C program and the program is hash include stdio.h int main and inside main you have a static int array which has the values of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 then a static int star p array that means a pointer array which is pointing to various locations of the previous a array okay so the contents of p array are a a plus 3 a plus 4, A plus 1 and A plus 2. Now there is another double pointer which is of integer type and it is known as PTR. So PTR is pointing to P. We increment the value of PTR in this statement and at the end there is a printf statement. So you have to tell what would be the output of the program. So let's first construct the arrays that are given to you. There is an A array. So this array contains 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Alright. So this is array A. Let's assume that the addresses of these uh, values or the positions of various uh, values in A are 1000. This would be 1000 plus 4. See I am assuming the value of each integer or the size of each integer as 4. Okay, here I am assuming the size of each int as 4. Even if you take the integer value size as 2, then also the answer would be correct. That won't be affecting the option, the output of the program. Okay, so you will find out that the size of each input is not, each integer is not affecting the final output. So let's solve by taking the size of each int as 4 for as of now. So this would be 1008, this would be 1012 and this would be 1016. These are the addresses that I have written down. Now there is a P array which is an array of pointers. Okay, since an, a pointer contains the address of another variable, so the 0th location so let's index it 0 1 2 3 4 then the 0th position would contain the address a when i say a i mean the 0th the value or the 0th address of integer array a so the first address or the 0th address is 1000 itself that would constitute the 0th element of p all right then a plus 3 now please keep in mind that this first element 10 is a, 20 is a plus 1, 30 is a plus 2 and 40 is a plus 3 and 50 is a plus 4. Okay, so when a plus 3, I say a plus 3, I actually means the address 1012, then a plus 4 which is 1016, then 1004 which is a plus 1 and at the end 1008 all right now since pointer stores various addresses of different variables but a pointer would also have its own addresses okay now since it is a pointer to an integer therefore the size of each value would also be 4 so the first value let's assume that it has an address of 2000 and 2004 then 2008, then 2012 and then 2016. Now we have a variable called PTR. PTR is a double pointer variable. Double pointer variable means that it stores the address of another pointer. A pointer actually stores the address of a variable like integer variable or floating variable. But a pointer that is a double pointer would store the address of another 
ponder okay so ptr is assigned to the value of p so p is pointing to the first address of this array and the value that would be present in ptr would be initially 2000 okay so ptr is also pointing at this position 2000 that is the first element of this pointer array now the next statement says ptr plus plus ptr plus plus means that you have to now point to the next location of the pointer array it does not mean that the value would now become 2001 no it means that this value of ptr would now point to the second location of the pointer array p so the value of ptr becomes 2004 okay so now what we have to call, calculate in printf printf it says print the value of ptr minus p now ptr is 2004 p is 2000 so actually when we subtract two pointers we basically tell that how many values are present between them we do not subtract the literal values we do not subtract 2004 minus 2000 that would give you four no four is basically the size of one integer therefore 2004 the location 2004 minus the location 2000 means there is a single integer between both these values therefore this means the location 2004 minus the location 2000 which contains only a single value integer value between them so the output is one here and the second part of the printf is star star ptr now star is an operator that gives you the value present at a particular address so star of ptr star of 2004 means the value present at address 2004 which is 1012 all right this value is present at 2004 now we have another star operator another dereferencing operator so another star of 1012 means the value present at 1012 and the value that is present at 1012 is 40 so this would give me 40 okay so what do we have to print we have to first print 1 then we have to print 40 so the value the total value that would be printed is 140 okay there is no space between them so the total answer is 1 40, all right so next coming to the next question the question says that let g be a connected undirected graph of 100 vertices and 300 edges the weight of a minimum spanning tree of g is 500 when the weight of each edge of g is increased by 5 the weight of a minimum spanning tree becomes all right so in such type of questions please read carefully that whether it is written that the weight of each edge is increased to 5 or it is increased by 5 so when we say that suppose the weight of one edge say a b is initially 1 and it is increased to 5 so basically now the weight of a b would become 5 okay but when we say that the weight of a b has been increased by 5 what does that mean that weight of a b would now become 1 plus 5 which is equal to 6 okay so this is one very common mistake that students make in such questions so here when the weight of each edge is increased by 5 that means if initially the weight was x now the weight of each edge would be x plus 5 and not 5 all right okay so now we are given that it has 100 vertices see any graph with n number of vertices has n minus 1 edges between it and how am i saying this see if you have two vertices then the number of edge uh, connecting them would be in an undirected graph in an undirected graph n is equal to 2 and number of edge is equal to 1 if we have three vertices and you have to uh, attain a connected undirected graph so there are 
n is equal to 3 and even if you eliminate this edge there would be the minimum number of edges required to connect them would be 2 okay so in such cases a graph if we are given n vertices here vertices are 100 so the number of edges that would be present in the minimum spanning tree would be how many 99 because for n vertices we need n minus 1 edges to fully connect them and fully connect them means to form a minimum spanning tree to form a spanning tree a spanning tree is a tree that contains all the nodes of the given graph but it does not contain all the edges it only contains as many edges as many as minimum number of edges required to connect all the vertices and in such case when we find the minimum spanning tree we use those edges to connect all the vertices that have the minimum weight all right so for a mst if we have the number of nodes as 100 then number of edges would be n minus 1 which is equal to 99 now the current weight of the mst is 500 okay current weight of mst is given to you as 500 and this weight is increased by 5 that means each edge is now has its original weight plus the weight 5 so there are 99 edges and an additional weight of 5 in them therefore 99 into 5 would give you a total of 495 this is the amount of additional weight that would be present in the mst now okay so originally each edge has some weight say x y z and so on and there would be such 99 weights because there are 99 edges in the mst the total of all the original weights so the total of or the sum of original weight was 500 an additional 5 is added to every edge and the additional weight is 495 so now the original mst would weigh 500 plus 495 so this becomes the new weight becomes 500 plus 495 which is equal to 995 this is the weight of the new mst Alright, so in this question you don't have to make the mistake of returning or writing 495 as the answer because 495 is the additional weight apart from the original weight of the MST. Okay, that is why I explained you the concept of to and by in such cases. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture. I hope you understood these questions. Please like the video and share it with your friends if you are clear with both these questions. Mention in the comment section below how did you find the video. Subscribe to the channel of Easy Engineering Classes for more such tutorials and press the bell icon to get the notifications of our upcoming videos in future so that you don't miss a video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Good luck for your exam.